Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to import any CAD model into OpenFoam so that you can use it later to mesh using Snappy Hex Mesh. So Snappy Hex Mesh can accept only CAD models in the format of .stl, .obj and .vtk. In this video we are going to see how to import any model into OpenFoam in the format of .stl. So I will demonstrate using a GrabCAD model. If you want to uh, download any models and then proceed, then you can use this method. If you already have a CAD model which you made personally in any CAD modeling software, then you can export it in the format of .stl and you can follow along from that specific part of the video. So first, let me demonstrate from the downloading part because some people prefer to download models and then use it. So the first thing you have to keep in mind while downloading us it has to be in step file format or .stl format. Most of the time other formats do not work with the method which I am going to demonstrate. If you if the model available is in the SOLIDWORKS file or CATIA file or uh, Fusion 360 file then you might want to have the license to that software or access to that software to be able to convert it into STL. But the method which I am going to demonstrate is using the software called FreeCAD which is a open source free CAD modeling software uh, which requires you to pay no money for license. So this is highly powerful and we are going to use this model I mean this software to convert the model into STL files. So this is the model which I have chosen from GrabCAD. I will give this link in the description you can download it if you want to follow along. So as you can see the person has given this file in .step file format which is suitable for this tutorial. If someone has provided in .stl then it is still fine. If it is .igs it is still fine. It must not be in specific formats like solid part or uh, fusion part or CAD part which is openable only in that specific software. If it is a general format like STEP or IGS or STL or OBJ then it is absolutely fine you can follow along. So I am going to download this model. I will go here and give download file and I will download it. Once your model is downloaded you can open that file using FreeCAD. First launch FreeCAD. You can click on file, open and then open the model and load it in FreeCAD. Now I have the model loaded in FreeCAD. So this is the model which we have. Okay. Now we are going to convert this into STL using this specific method. I'll click on this and you can click here, choose mesh. And here you can choose this option, convert to mesh. Click on OK. Now we have this mesh file. So mesh file is basically triangulated format which is same as .stl files. Okay, now what we are going to do is click on this and then right click and click export mesh. So now I am going to save this in .stl format in the name uh, propeller ASCII. So why I am saying ASCII is because we are going to save it in ASCII STL format not ASCII STL in .ast but ASCII STL in .stl format. Click on this and then save it. Okay. Now we are going to import it into OpenFoam. Okay, but there is a problem in that. So to do that, now let's uh, open ParaView, which is the software which we will be uh, using to post process any result from OpenFoam and uh, load your downloaded model, which you just converted into STL file here. So I have imported the STL file here. This is what it looks like. You can uh, choose surface with edges to see the triangulated format. But the problem which I was mentioning is if you go on this bottom and choose data access grid. You can see that the dimension is varying from negative 25 to positive 25 meters. So anything in open form is an SI unit. So this is a drone propeller. And it definitely can't be 50 meters across, right? So what is the problem? The problem is probably the designer used MM format 
millimeters format to design this propeller but when we just convert it into stl the default uh, dimension will be in meters but the values will remain the same so whatever was 50 millimeters is now 50 meters so we have to scale this down before using it in our simulations to do that we will be using uh, open form utility which is really easy to do so the methodology is open your ubuntu terminal and uh, navigate to the place where you have the file in this case it is propeller ascii.stl and what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the size or scale down this model so the format is it is surface convert and then you have to give the input file name which is propeller ascii.stl and you have to give the output file name in this case it is propeller.stl you can choose whatever name you want but it should be followed by .stl uh, after stl give a space and type hyphen clean and then space hyphen scale and uh, you have to give the value by which you want this to scale down so for me it is in millimeters i have to convert it into meters so i'll multiply it by a factor of 0 0.001 which is like dividing each dimension by thousand if your model is in centimeters and you want to convert to meters then you might have to do 0 0.01 so after doing this i'll just click uh, hit enter you will be able to see this end without any warning now we can go to that location and uh, see that we have got the propeller.ascii file we can open that here in the para view and verify if the data conversion is done properly as you can see now the model is uh, about 25 mil uh, 50 millimeters across which is like 5 centimeter now this is a realistic scale but if you really think that uh, this should be like 50 centimeters big then you can really scale this up now let me demonstrate this as well okay so i just think that it should be 50 millimeters like 5 centimeters across if it is a very small propeller but if you want it to be big then you can do the same thing just make sure you delete the previous file or let me use this file actually i'll just rename this to propeller uh, millimeters okay now i will change the command so the input file is propeller millimeters and the output file will be propeller stl but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to scale this by a factor of 10 hit enter now we can uh, load that file here now turn on data access grid now you can see it is about uh, 0.5 meters across or 50 centimeters across now if you think this is for a drone case uav case then this is realistic so the point is you can always scale down or scale up using this command uh, in case of dimension even if you want to scale down something by a factor of 50 or uh, increase by a factor of 50 then you can still use this command to do that once you have the stl file you can use snappy hex mesh to generate mesh for this file and uh, run any case which you want in the future i will also be uploading videos on how to mesh this exact propeller in snappy hex mesh i will also be doing a dynamic mesh dict case setup where this propeller will actually be rotating in the case and we will see how to do dynamic meshing case using snappy hex mesh inside open form if you like this video consider dropping a like to this video consider subscribing to this channel if you have any specific doubts or suggestions please let me know in the comments thank you see you in another video